Okay, I'm going to try this one. And this will sort of learn itself what has happened to tuppence. Okay, where is tuppence? Let's have a little look. Exactly the same as the previous um, problem that you may or may not have looked at. We start off with J as an empty string. We're going to loop C from 1 to 4. So we're going to loop around four times. We're going to input X, input Y, input Z, and then we've got substring, which is basically taking the value X, which if we go to the first value, which would be Adonis, yeah, we're going to take that and we're going to say, okay, Adonis has got a value of 3 and a value of 2. So we're going to start at the third position, bearing in mind the first value is 0, we'll look at Fergus, yeah. So one, 0, 1, 2, 3, and we're going to take two values. So we're going to take the n and the u in this case. We're going to be using the n and the u. What do I mean? I will show you. Let's put this in j. C, X, Y, Z, R, S, Z, R, S. Okay, let me just put this in. Like so, okay. So the first value has been done for us. So position C one Adonis A D O N U. S, yeah, Adonis has got three, a Y, yeah, and two, Z. Now, R is a, sub, is a substring, so we said that we're going to be starting at position three, zero, one, two, three, and we're going to take two values, N, U. Okay, so S is the reverse string, which would be UN. And joint strength is the value of S joined to the value of J. J currently has nothing in it. You can see here. So I'm just going to put down here. Yeah, I'm just going to put in U, N. Okay. Move on to the second one, two, which is Fergus. Okay. Fergus. Yeah. Fergus starts at zero, so we're going to take the F three values, so F, E, R, which when we reverse it would be R, E, F. Something fun, methinks. If we add that to that, ref, un, something fun. Okay, let's try and work out what the next bit is. Three, um, Nazarene, N, A, S R E E N Nazarene, and we're going from position one to four. One, two, yeah, so four values. A S R E A S R E, which would be E R S A. Something R fun. Let's have a little look. E R S A R E four. Okay, something, some things are fun. Okay, position four. We've got tuppence. T U P P E N C E. So tuppence. We're taking the first value is zero, and we're taking three values. Okay, so I'm going to go T U P top, and I'm going to go O O T P U T. So P U T E R S A R E F U N. Okay, now we've gone around four times. Position one was empty. Position two, position three, position four. So position four, the output, output J, would be in this case E R S A R E F U N. So that would be it. That would be the output. That would be the end of the question. So that's where we'd finish. 
just to add, just to see, I'm assuming it's computers or something is something is fun. Let's have a little look. So if I go five, which we don't need, and we go D A M O C L E S. But yes, don't fall into the trap. Remember, we've got that there. So two um, and three. So we're going to take three letters. M O C. So M O C C O M. So it would be looking at that and then here C O M P U T E R S A R E. Fun. Computers are fun, but don't get you could fall into the trap and write that you will lose marks. The output one, two, three, four is that. That is what we should be outputting. E R S R fun. Is R fun. Okay. I hope that made sense. I hope that sort of um, explains a little bit more about what substrings, reverse strings, and joint strings are, and how we can loop around a little program like that. Nice and easy. Um, five marks. Five marks for each of those questions. So. Good luck with your exams, and I will speak to you next time. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.